put into words, I guess, kind of what the emotions are for you right now? Oh, it sucks. Lizzie's not fun. Losing, he's not fun at all. It sucks. But, you know, it's a perspective. Uh, I look at it. I'm going home right now. My beautiful wife. I'm saving my child. Better things like losing. You know, it sucks. You know, I want to come back and get my match, of course. Listen, right now, it's DC's day. Good for him. Can you talk about how you thought the fight was playing out? Because it did seem like you were having some success early on. I think I was winning the fight. You know, I remember I took him down one time for a little bit. You know, I was holding against the cage. You know. Give me some good shots, and I was able to get some good shots. You know, we go back and forth, but I thought I was backing him up a lot more, and then, uh, you know, call you the right hand. Whoever it was, elbow, I think it was, or something. I just call the right hand, whatever it was. Good shot, what are you going to do? It's part of the game. It is. Like I got to say all the time. Yeah, you mentioned your family. I mean, you're the last guy to make any excuses or take away from DC, but, I mean, how much was what was going on weighing on you this week? I lost. It's plain simple. I mean, there's no excuses. He's a better man than me. Early on, you, know, you were keeping DC at the end of the right hand. It seemed like he was able to close the distance on you. Did he, you know, did he do something to be able to get himself inside where you know, he landed that one combination, that one two, with a couple shots on the inside where he seemed to get closer? Uh, no, I, mean, I think I was doing anything right. I felt comfortable. And then, just like I said, he covered that over there, right? I kept getting out of clinch. And I, you know, just, it was a weird angle. You know, what do you do? You know, you won't. And did you, you know, how how bad, like, when you went down, were you out, or, you know, were well, you? I mean, I hit a couple times, and then Brad jumped in, I looked at him, like, what are you doing? And then, I mean, it was definitely just the opposite, and he had been out of punches, so what are you doing? Stipe, how you doing? Um, Dana says, Stipe's not done yet, he's one of the best in the world, and really bad. For you, your future, I know you want to go home and enjoy the birth of your daughter, but, you know, where do you kind of go from here, I guess? Home. We're going home. That's all I care about right now. We go home. I mean, listen, that's all you guys want to hear. Who's next? We want to hear. Of course, we're match. No question. But right now, I got a very, very, very fish to fry, and I got my daughter on the way. That's a, that's a battle I got to win right there. Show how much time do you, do you want to take off? No, right now, to enjoy my daughter, enjoy my family. We're starting our family. And this year, hopefully, not right now. So, if so far, my wife's good. I'm trying to get home. We got a plane waiting for me right now. I'm going to fly home and get home early in the morning and hang out with her. And you described uh, kind of what happened with, with the, the shot he hit you with. Was this, did it, it stop you? Did it, was it something that you saw or that he was doing? Uh, I, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't see it. He put me down and finished the fight. So then I didn't see it. Um, no, like you said, I mean, come to your right. I mean, like I said, 10 minute division, you got four ounce gloves on. You don't have to hit hard. You're big. You only weigh 246. You got a lot of behind that weight. You know, a lot of punch behind that weight. A lot of weight. So I'm talking too fast here. He'll wait behind that punch, you know, he, he caught me the punch. He lost. Okay. You know, it's, it's hard to look back in the last two and a half years when you just lose, but can you kind of encapsulate what the last two and a half years have, have meant to you as a champion? Oh, amazing. I was a champ. It was great. Love life, you know. I thank the fans, the UFC, I mean, it was great. It was, I'm not done, you know. Take some time, enjoy myself. Uh, it seems like this DC versus Brock Lesnar fight is going to happen next. Obviously, you know, fighting Brock Lesnar and Massive Payday, what might change the tennis stuff. Do you think going forward, Eddie Harvey is going to kind of think about the what if and he's going to come out of this fight on top? I'm not going to doubt it. I think we like to change it. I don't know about that, but listen, I, like I said, I don't worry about anything else until, you know, task at hand. This is, I was, you know, I have a task at hand, and of course, it was my night, you know, uh, he's a better man. But now, right now I'm going to go home and you know, enjoy my child, and I'll figure it out from there. Well, well, this last question, but who do you think wins that fight between? I really, I really don't care. Honestly, right? but at least my worries. Thank you. Thanks, Dave. Make good luck. Thanks, guys. Thanks, By the way, you like my suit?